Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica or Ricky Minky Plans if you're on Instagram. And I am planning this week in my classic size, vertically aligned happy planner, sorry, um, for the week of December 6th through the 12th. And as always, I will start by taking my pages out of my planner and putting the planner off to the side and then explaining what I'm gonna do. I, um, I've spent the last few weeks, if you've been watching my videos, kind of making my own kits. And so I had fun with it. So I made another one. <laughs> I just had fun. And so this one is a buffalo plaid kind of a kit that I made. Again, I don't sell sticker stickers. I'm just playing around, but I really liked it. And so I'm going to try it. And I think it will go with a few stickers out of the Homebody Season book. So I'm going to use it as well. And then we'll just see where it goes from there. So yeah, if you wanna watch what I do, stick around and let's get planning. So normally I start with these post-its, but today I'm going to start with something that's happening almost every day this week. Just, just for consistency's sake, I'm going to um, start there because like I said, it's something that happens every day this week, almost. So we are doing um, dress up days at school. The I'm a teacher, sorry. The elementary school is calling them the 12 days of Christmas and the middle school is just calling them dress up days. Um, and so, sorry, I was looking for a smaller sticker. I might have some in my own collection though. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're doing some dress up days for the rest of the month. Um, the kids are not doing it, the teachers are, and it's just, it's, you know, it kind of gets the kids asking like how come you guys are all you know in the same color or you all look like that you know it just makes them kind of wonder what's going on and you know some of us tell them and some of us play along of oh my goodness we just happened to match you know we're just being silly but um I do want to mark those because like I said there are dress up days every day I need bigger ones for most days because like I've told you this in the past, if you've watched my channels, I actually teach in two different schools. I teach in the elementary school and the middle school. I'm a music teacher. Music teachers, you know, we teach all the kids, right? Um, and so, of course, the middle school and elementary school did not talk to each other and plan their days the same. So I have to dress up. Um, well, I, I don't know how to say it. I don't have to, but... Um, Oh, there went my oil diffuser. I can have my choice of how I dress up. Middle school's just not doing a dress up day on this day, so I don't need two choices here. And honestly, I don't think they're doing one on this day either. I better check on that. Yeah, they are not. So I'm actually gonna take that off and put a smaller sticker too. I wanted to use a smaller sticker on Tuesday since I only have to write in for the elementary. And it turns out I need to do that on Thursday as well because the middle school, for some reason, isn't dressing up on Thursdays. Don't know why, but that's okay. I still am with the elementary. And when I cut my stickers, I left a little bit of white and I no longer like the look of that. So I'm just doing a little trim if you're wondering what I'm doing here. So if you're curious how to make your own stickers, I did make a video on that. It's actually quite easy if you have a cutting machine and it's quite easy if you don't have a cutting machine. So, and it's fun, it, you know, it's another way to be creative. So I enjoy it. I'm gonna keep this open in case I need more plain black boxes. That's the Colorful Boxes book, by the way. All right, so that's done and out of the way. That's, that's my big one, I got that done, good. All right, so next I'm going to mark, and I think I'm gonna get some more of my own boxes here, um, Shot and Trash Night. The only reason I'm not using Happy Planner boxes for these is because I've used them all, and so I made my own. So yeah, this is my favorite size box right here. Love this size box. Most people like them bigger, I like these, so. And then my Post-it system, Trash Night happens every week. So I can just move that to next week and not even have to think about it. It's a beautiful thing in my opinion. All right, let's see. What else do I need to mark? Um, this is still happening. This is, this is, oh, my daughter has tutoring after school these days. She uh, has a, I don't wanna say a job, but it is a job. Um, she tutors um, 
math after school for some middle school kids and so I need to mark that in. I do put my daughter's stuff in my planner, not because I have to keep track of her, but because I like to know where my family is. So that's why I do that. I don't know if I wanna use all the black stickers because I did make myself some regular stickers. So I think I wanna use a few of these. So kind of feeling silly that I didn't already. So I'm gonna use this down here. This is for the two church things I have post-its for. My husband has a church meeting and then following the church meeting, we have choir practice at church. So I'll put both of those in there. And then I am gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll keep, stick with black here and put my daughter's dance practice here too. I'm kind of wishing I'd used a colored one here. So I might take these off and do that. I just forgot that I'd made some, I'd made a few smaller stickers on my little kit, if you will. And so I kind of want to use some of those. So let's do tutoring in green. Why not? <clears throat> the green is very close to the black, but that is okay as well. All right. And that's for dance practice. So I can move that to next week as well. Um, Thursday. Whew, Thursday's a big day. Big day, big day, big day. Um, biggest thing is, I got to move some post-its around. Sorry. Biggest thing is, is my husband has his concert. He is also a music teacher. And so he has his middle school concert on this day. And I want to leave some room in case he's being silly and he's still going to do his online game night when he comes home. I'm going to put this here and I'm not going to have a to-do list because I generally help him with his concerts, you know, like with the setup and the cleanup and all that. So I'm not going to have time to do anything else that day. So we don't have an auditorium at our school. So anything we do setup wise, we can only put up that exact day. So... So I do help with that. So I'm not gonna have like to-dos that day. Although I do have a Girl Scout meeting after school, but luckily they are high school girls. I can kind of get them going and then I can just run it, be in and out for them. So I take all of these now. Oh, I wanted to leave game night for a second because I don't know if that's happening or not. And I didn't put back dance practice. See, I'm not, <laughs> okay, Girl Scouts, that's this one. I'll move that to next week. That I can do. Um, see, this is why I have these, because I'll forget things, right? Dance practice. I'll use one of these that I took from here, I think. Or could I use red? I'll use red. I like red. <clears throat> so this is going to be dance practice, because my daughter will still have that. But again, luckily she's in high school, so she can drive herself to that, so I can help my husband with the concert. So I'll move that to next Thursday. And then, like I said, I don't know if game night is happening or not, so I'm just gonna leave space and I can plug it in later if it happens, or not, if it doesn't happen. All right, so that's cool with that. Uh, what else do we have? Friday, we have our dress up days. There is our middle school staff party, but I don't think we RSVP'd in time for that. So I don't see us going to that. I guess I could put a sticker anyway. That way if we, you know, decide we want to go, we can beg the principal to let us, <laughs> to let us go. I'm going to put that down here because it is in the evening. I mostly plan morning and daytime here evening and nighttime here and generally to-do lists here, but as you can see, that's not a hard and fast rule. And then this game night, I happen to remember, is moved to Saturday this week. And I use a bigger sticker for game night because sometimes we do this game night in person and sometimes we do it online and I want it to be big enough to write that in. So I'll move that to next week, which will be back to the Friday, I believe. And then dance practice is not happening because they have their first dance competition. So you see how I made this concert sticker? I made a few. <laughs> I made one for her dance competition as well. So 
So I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna bring it down a little. It is happening way early in the morning, like the bus leaves at like 5 a.m. or something. But I'm gonna leave some space in case I need to mark more than I have spaces in the boxes. The boxes, if you're curious what I do, this will say something like dance practice. This will say, or sorry, dance competition. This box I'll put where it is. This is where I'll put what time they perform. And this is where I will put bus times, leave and arrive back times. So that's what that is for. And then for the concert one, I'll just put, you know, middle school concert, what time it starts, what time, you know, like what they have to wear, da, 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 da. I can put whatever I need to in those boxes. So I just, I like using those boxes. They make me happy, right? Now we do also have a rehearsal, a choir rehearsal that day, which I'm afraid might conflict with this, but I will do what I can to make it work, right? It's what we do as a mom and I guess as a dad. So that's a choir practice we have. And the practice we have is for the cantata that we have. So we have a big choir performance at church on Sunday. And so I need to mark that as well. So this is kind of our biggest choir performance of the year is the cantata. So we do still have all these things, but cantata is going to be biggest on my mind. So I'm not going to worry about listing off all the other practices. We're just going to leave it at cantata. That's the biggest deal of the day. And I think those are most of my big events that are happening. Oh, my husband and I are going to set up for my concert, my school concert, um, in the evening here. So I'm going to put that. I sometimes like to decorate down here in the corner. So that's why I'm feeling the need to keep that open, but I don't know. I think I'm not going to. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm not gonna worry about filling it up with decorations. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that'll mark that we're going to set up the gym for my concert that is this day. <laughs> so, yeah. And I now I think that that is everything box-wise that I need to put down. Like, you know, like my activities and events and that sort of thing. All right, so that that's good. I like it. All right. Uh, let's do, let's do icons before I reach into the sticker book and start looking for decorations. So I'll come back to my to-do lists. There's nothing for the pets this week. There's lots of stuff for dance this week. Where did my tweezers go? So I'm gonna put this little dancer here. Helps me glance at that and know that it's about dance. So is this dance practice sticker. I'm gonna have to make some more. I'm, I'm gonna run out of the, the girl facing to the right. And that is dance practice as well. I'll use a girl facing to the left for that. Okay. Um, shot night, we do the same night as trash night. We have a family member who has to take a shot once a week. So we just do it on the same night. Makes it easy to remember. And trash cans, I'm wondering if I have any in these colors. I do, I have a dark red and a dark green. Ooh, choices, choices. That green's a little blue for my taste and that red's a little maroon, so never mind. I do have this kind of tan. I'll save that for another day. I think I'm just gonna go with black. Why? I don't know, I don't know. This trash can sticker I did not make for myself. It comes from Lux Kitty Designs. I think it was a freebie I got when I ordered something else, but I like them, so I may order more from her. Uh, Girl Scout meeting is happening this week, so we will put that right there. Uh, no doctor's appointments this week. No violin lessons. Red for Ed is Wednesday. If you support public school teachers, wear Red for Ed on Wednesdays. That's my commercial for you. <laughs> jeans day is it's kind of all week because if we participate in these dress ups we can wear jeans but I'm going to mark it anyway because we always have a jeans day on Friday so I'm just going to mark it and then this is for our game night that is Saturday night this week 
And then, like I said, there might be one on Thursday after the concert if my husband's feeling ridiculous and crazy. But that's his call, not mine, right? Because I don't play in that game night. That's him and his brother and some other friends. So it's their choice. All right, so I'm looking for the winter section of this book. I love these stickers. I could have a whole book of this greenery. It's so pretty. And I could use these because I made these stockings. So I could take them and make them hang from these. I honestly, don't didn't leave myself a ton of space though. I didn't, did I? These are cute too. <clears throat> I love these stickers. I really do. So I guess what I'm looking for is something to go here maybe here, and then possibly something to help these stockings not look like they, you know, look like they belong, to look more integrated. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here, if you wonder what I'm doing. Hmm. But I don't know. Tis the season is kind of cute. Let the best time of the year begin. That's cute, but that's got that kind of pink color and I've gone really red. That's getting into autumn. Loved ones who are dear to us. That's cute. Not sure, not sure, not sure. What can I use? These are all like, almost like bucket listy kind of things. These have too much blue in them. Could just do Mary. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna white out, instead of trying to find a sticker that covers notes, this note thing, I'm gonna white out the note thing. And I'm gonna put some greenery coming out from the side and then I'm gonna hang some stockings from that greenery. I did this almost, I gotta tell you the truth, almost an identical spread last year but I loved it. And so I'm actually completely okay with the fact that I'm kind of repeating a spread because I really, really did love it last year. See, that's cute, right? I think so. And what if I put one here on Sunday? Cause I don't, um, I don't put to-do lists on Sunday. <clears throat> That's a little thick and a little long. I feel like I was wasting some of it. So let's do this one. Kind of wish I'd made some of the stockings face the other direction now, but that's okay too. So let's put this right here and then let's do got a lot of green here so I think I'm gonna pull another red stocking and do like that that way I can still have room to write if I want to I can still put stuff there oh yeah see I like this when I said I should pull out the old spread and mm -hmm. compare them because I don't remember exactly what it looked like but it was mm -hmm. similar to this oh my dog's getting mm -hmm. grumpy yeah. I think I'm going to put some down here just because yeah. I don't think anything's going to come up like, ah, jumpy. I don't expect a lot to come up um, as far as plans are concerned. To-dos will, but I don't expect plans to. So I'm okay with putting some some extra decoration down here. Should I use another taupe one? I kind of want to put it at a different height than this one if I can, but I also don't want to cover. I don't know, that's kind of, that doesn't look as good. These two look good, I don't like this one. Um, how to make this work? How to make this work? I feel like I need to make the greenery look like it's coming out from the side 
more similar to how it did on these two. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna cut this and let it be coming out like that. I'm gonna bring it up a little too. Yeah. I wish my stockings were different sizes and facing different directions, but again, it is what it is now. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Oh goodness, I'm so happy about this. I like this. All right, I had pulled some washi, so I could put a few washi strips out here if I wanted. Um, I don't know if it needs it. I mean, it's nice because it's it's got some shine to it, you know? I don't know, do I need it? Does it do anything? Is it necessary? I wouldn't leave it like that if you're going, what is she thinking? I would do it more like so. Ugh, can't tear it. This is a little bit thicker washi than usual. Maybe I should try one or two before I <laughs> say no altogether. My gut is telling me I'm not gonna keep this. I just, I miss using washi. I haven't used washi much lately and I miss it because I really do like washi. I used to only decorate with washi. Like washi was all I'd put on a page. Washi in boxes. Yeah, I don't like it. It's trying too hard. Don't like it. Yeah, I used to just do washi all over the place and boxes all over the place, and that was pretty much it. And then I then I started buying sticker box books. <laughs> um all right. I think I'm going to do some to-do lists because I will still have some need for that. And I think I've told you, if you've watched my ch my channel in the last few weeks, that I like bullet points better than checklists. And eventually, if you use these sticker books, you run out of their bullet points. So I made my own. Again, it just gives me that freedom to be creative. I do like sticking with the sticker books sometimes. Just I think there's some power some creative power in using what you have and trying to make it work for you as opposed to always making my own and making it perfect for me. Does that make sense? Like forced creativity comes when you use what you've got and you don't get to make it perfect. So I do that sometimes too, but I'm also having fun creating my stickers. So it's another way to be creative. So I get to use both and and I'm happy that way. And what I do, the way I plan, if you're wondering how this actually works, the nitty gritty, I will do more than three things a day, but I won't, these are the things that I will most likely need to get done on these days. Um, does that make sense? Like these are the big ones that I have to get done. I'll still do other things. And sometimes those other things will make it onto my planner and sometimes they won't. Um, right here, I'm just gonna ignore the line today. We're just gonna go with it. But yeah, so the nitty gritty is, these are the things I need to do this day. And then the other things I can either add or just do them, whatever. And then I'll have a running to-do list over here as well, which I think I want a quote down here at the bottom. There were those quotes. They're clear, but that's okay. Uh, Mary, stay cozy. Every season serves a purpose. Tis the season to sparkle. I kind of dig that, except for the blue too, but that's okay. Tis the season to stay inside. Don't I wish. Too bad I have to work. <laughs> um, I think I'm still going to... I'm going to put tis the season to sparkle, because... Cause I am, cause I like it. It just makes me happy and that's my point, the point, you know, it's my planner, I should be happy. 
doesn't add a lot of color, but it adds some fun. And while I'm doing this, I need to cut off the edges of these stickers too that I didn't cut off earlier. All right, I have more stockings if I want to stick some. Like I could hang one from this, um, just from this to-do list here. So like I could kind of cut this little hanger circle and make it look like it's just hanging on this box. And then I still have room to write my to-do there. <laughs> That's cute. I get excited about little things. I could do the same on Friday. Stick one right there, right? Kind of cut that little hanger circle that I made off. And just stick him right there. Oh, that's cute. I kind of wish I wouldn't have put Jean's Day up there now because I could hang one there too, but that's all right. I could. Is this enough? Do I need more? Hmm. I mean, I have more. I didn't use any of these big stickers. That's crazy. Why did I make those? Because I had fun, that's why. I was trying to think if I had enough of these to switch these guys out. And I do if I just use the big ones, right? So I could switch these out for these. And I think I will because I like the black. But I also like the color. And I made the plaid, so I might as well use the plaid. And I have undo sitting right here next to me and I'm not using it. Instead, I'm pulling this sticker off and I'm gonna regret it. Got it. So yeah, I think this'll be, this'll be cute. <clears throat> and I'll just do that for these three big ones. Plus then I can save my black boxes cause black boxes are my fave. It'll make this spread better and give me more black boxes in the future. Yeah, that's fun. That's very fun. And then I'll do this one as well. I was off looking for stickers and my cat got up here and my daughter decided to push record. So you got to see my cat. <laughs> um, I went to look for some stickers that say to do or today because I like to put those where I have to do lists. And in the botanicals book, I found these that are the right color red and they say UG. And that's not really my style because it's kind of negative and grumpy. But they're the right color and I'm going to use them <laughs> just because. I know it's negative and it's grumpy and I get it, but I'm going to use them today <laughs> and, and I'll look at them. And every time I look at it, it's going to make me giggle. Should I just use all four Uggs? I mean, I've got them and I'm never going to use them really. Like I said, they're too negative. I don't like them. I don't like not today and I don't like Ugg and I just don't like those, but I'm going to use a sticker I don't like today because it's going to make me giggle. At least I hope it's going to make me giggle. <laughs> and they kind of hearken to the shape of my, my to-dos. So I'm going to try it. We'll see. You know, I may end up putting white out over that and making it say to-do. But <laughs> this is what it's going to say for now. All right. So let's double check that I did what I should. I have boxes for my activities and appointments. Check. I've got my icons. Check. I've got my to-do lists and bullet points. And my titles, check. I've got washi because I didn't do washi, so check. And then Pure Deco is on here too, check. So that's everything I need. So I am done. No, I'm not. I always forget it. My school to-do list, my work to-do list. See, always forget something. I'm gonna go with red. This is gigantic, wow. Um. I'm gonna cut this down because it doesn't need to be this big for what I'm using it for. So I'm gonna cut, it's gonna be a little hard to cut because of I let the buffalo plaid pattern show through on the inside. Do you see that? 
You don't see it now because I flipped it over. Can you see that I kind of let that shine through? So I couldn't just cut it any old place and uh, make it look right. And I'm still not positive this is going to look right, but I'm gonna make it work. So in this spot, I'm going to write to do at work. Um, I'll actually write to do at school because you know that's where my work is. But if you were doing this and you wanted to copy my idea, you would write to do at work. See my kitty cat's shadow there? <laughs> She's back. So this will say to do at school and then this will be my to-do list for school. And I might as well hang a stocking off of it because I've got it. And I'm gonna chop off that little thingy again because I like how that looked. And so what I will do with this is I can leave it in my planner and keep my planner open on my desk at school. Look, my kitty has the cone of shame. Do you see her? Cone of shame. Come here, kitty. I'm gonna hold her while I talk to you. Um, so I can leave this in my, leave my planner open like this on my desk with this here. I can take my planner home and leave this at school. I can bring my planner home and take this with me so I can work at home. I've got lots of ways I can do this, but I only have one planner for both work. Sorry, putting the cat down for both work and home because I like having one planner. So if you're a multiple planner person, more power to you. I can't think that way. I don't understand how to do it. And these are the black stickers I took off earlier that I'm going to try to save because I always need more black stickers in my life. When you try to put stickers back in books, they curl up like crazy. So you kind of got to hold them and smoosh it down and hope that the weight of the book will keep them from staying curled up. So that is my spread for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Um, I would love to get up to 200 subscri subscribers before the new year. I know that's a low number for most, but for me, that's my goal. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you check out my channel, please subscribe. It, it'd make my day. So yeah, I hope you have a great week. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy planning. Bye-bye. Hold on a second. I remembered what else I was going to do. I was going to pull out the buffalo plaid spread that I did last year to kind of compare them. So this is last year's. Of course, it's after this pen, right? Um, I did it on actual Christmas week. So I've got a Christmas Eve and Christmas Day sticker I made. And I did a lot of trees. I did have a few stockings that I made. A few stockings that were Happy Planner. I did do the greenery thing. Um, and I put some washi, I guess. But yeah, it's different. It's the same, but it's different. So yeah, last year's buffalo plaid, this year's buffalo plaid. And maybe... Maybe I'm starting a tradition of a yearly buffalo plaid spread. I don't know. So, yeah, there you go. For real this time, bye-bye.